How do you take your own blood pressure? In this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do it. Taking your own blood pressure is actually very simple. The first thing that you need is a blood pressure machine. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link down below to Amazon, so if you wanna get your own blood pressure machine, you can. I found that inexpensive blood pressure machines do well but I'm gonna put down in the link the best one that money can buy. Now, there's different types of blood pressure machines. There's obviously the real ones that you could do, but you need skill. These require no skill at all. Now, there's some that uh, are used and they use the wrist. I don't personally like these, but they are convenient. The best ones are ones that go around your arm and mimic a normal blood pressure machine. It's just an automatic blood pressure machine. Now the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure to get an accurate reading. Don't eat, don't do any stimulants like coffee or anything like that, don't smoke for at least 30 minutes before you um, take your own blood pressure. Make sure you're in a comfortable chair and what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that your feet are on the ground comfortably, that you're sitting upright and that you're nice and relaxed and you want to relax for anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes before you have your blood pressure uh, checked. Now they say that your arm is supposed to be at heart level, meaning your uh, humerus here. Well, it already is just sitting here, but if you like, you can put it up here, but keep in mind that this is actually a little higher than heart level. So you'd have it down in this area or even just at your side, like this is just fine. Now, the important thing to get an accurate reading is to make sure that when you put the blood pressure cuff on, that you actually put it on correctly because if you put it on incorrectly it can give you false readings. What you're going to do is you're going to put your arm through the cuff and there is a line here that actually says, on mine it says artery mark. There's a little arrow. Now the artery, if you make a, if you make a uh, bicep here like this, the artery is right underneath the bicep. So what you'll do is you'll put this on your arm and make sure that that line is right where your bicep is. Now when you tighten this, what's going to happen here is you want to get it just to the point where it's around your arm, not super tight and not super loose. You should be able to get two fingers in there. So if you just put it in here like so, and then reach it across, make sure it's not over your um, shirt, so that you have a loose shirt. And right there, I've got it now. Now I can fit two fingers in there, and that's about right. So I'm gonna place it right here. And most all machines are basically the same. Most of them make them so easy, you just have to press start right here. So what you're gonna do is you're not gonna talk. You will just relax and breathe normally, don't hold your breath. And it's as simple as just hitting the machine. Now I'm going to talk because um, it gets very boring watching a YouTube video where someone's just sitting there. What you'll notice it'll, is it'll squeeze the arm and then it will slowly lower the pressure on the cuff. The machine will then be reading your blood pressure. What you want to do is when the machine is done record somewhere so you can remember where it is, what your blood pressure is like and what time of the day you did it. So you wanna check it at the same time all the time. Now this machine right here actually has, it's all done. This machine right here uh, actually memorizes 10 different uh, recordings. And this one I think, I forget how many, but this one will record about 15 uh, times that you did it. So it'll keep track for you. But that's it. It's very, very simple. It's probably one of the best things you can do to assess your overall health and to know how you're doing. You can use relaxation te techniques. You can change your diet to monitor your own blood pressure and take this information to the doctor so you can avoid the white coat syndrome. I'm going to put some other links down below on how to lower your blood pressure through relaxation breathing. I'm also going to put some information down below regarding white coat syndrome. By the way, if I forgot to do that, please let me know in the comments section. 
If you yourself like to take your own blood pressure and if you have any other suggestions, put them in the comment section below and I'd be happy to read them. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, ask in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.